so we've got this uh, Waka. Is it? I don't even know how to say. It. Is it Waka Flacker? Waka Flocker? We've got a rapper here uh, who was. Check this out. Check this out. Check this video out from Peter. I was fucking three hundred pounds. You know how it is in the hood. You think caviar, steaks from, you know, you think that shit fast. Man, I blew up like a blimp. So I was forty-four jeans, three X four X shirt. Hell, y'all was fat as fuck. And trying vegan because I just wanted to be healthy. How's you addicted to cereal like? Drinking cow milk like that shit is disgusting. And calling it saying it's protein and calcium and what the fuck? Drinking another animal's milk. That was the nastiest shit I ever did. Alright, so this is, I'm reading off the screen here now, I've got rap, the rapper, Wacker Flocker, I'm not saying, I, I don't even, I'm not much, in, I've been out of the, the uh, rap thing for about 20 years now, but Russell Simmons, they did a little, little chat there, ate some vegan food, now it's apparently this, the Wacker Flocker guy, let's just call him Wacker Wacker, I don't even know, I'm getting it wrong, I'm putting an offense to people here, but you know, I'm not trying to be mean or nothing, but I, I don't know how to pronounce it, is it Wacker or is it Wacker? Let's just say Wacker, fuck it, um, so this Wacker guy, He's a rapper, apparently he's famous, never heard of him, um, but he, he was vegan, lost a lot of weight, awesome, so he was, went to the vegan lifestyle, first thing he says, boom, lost a lot of weight, everyone's, people are inspired to go vegan for weight loss, I mean, look at it man, you know, I understand that, you know, I've been vegan 16 years, I was, back in 2002, 2003, he's talking about health and stuff like that, and people are like, yeah, whatever, and they're talking about, talking about weight loss of cyclists, and people are like, what, what, and I'm like, what, you want to lose weight, like, and then I started to understand that weight loss is what people were fucking triggered by. Weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. Look at how many vegans out there on YouTube who make videos. I gain, I gain weight, I eat bananas. You know, I was banana strong and I gain weight and I look like a little chipmunk and I'm staring at his fault and I'm cutting tight. So, you know, like people are fucking triggered by weight gain and weight loss. All right, that's inspiration or irritation, depends on the person. So this Waka guy stopped being vegan. He cites the reason why he stopped being vegan was... Um, uh, vegans are pushy, they're not, it's not enlightened, man, they scare people and shit, like, people are really scared off vegans, they're like the fucking cops, when vegans are around, people will be throwing their food under the table, like, oh, the vegans are here, and that is funny, and sad at the same time, it's funny, because it's true, because a lot of noob vegans, that first year, they're vegan, they're just like, Rawr! or they get on social media, and they're just like, SJW vegans, like, ah, meat it is burnt, and it's like, you know, that doesn't inspire people who eat meat to go vegan because they're like well if being vegan means I have to be one of those people I'm not ready for that because that's a lot of conflict and confrontation and I don't want to do that I just want to eat my plants I want to eat vegan food and just like chill at the office and get things done so when you put it out there that vegans have to go to protests and like you know like burn their fucking slaughterhouses and all that stuff and that's just that doesn't do anything for veganism it doesn't do anything for the animals I mean you look at these protests that have gotten quite trending right now on YouTube because it I'll be honest with you it uh, it makes a lot of money on Patreon. You know, some of these people just a few months ago working shit kicker jobs, and they're like, "Hang on, I can I can make ten grand a month, showing up to these protests with ten or so people, get Patreon donations, pull the hark strings of vegans, and be making bank, just talking to people on the street, harassing people, becoming an aggressive street preacher." And this is what this wacker flacker guy is talking about: is that this vegan trend right now is he's like. I'm a vegan activist. I go to and nag people on the street and tell them it's wrong what they're doing. And I'll tell you what, it, the, the arguments are legit, is right, but it ain't fucking converting nobody, man. All it's doing is converting money from vegans to these motherfuckers' fake Patreons accounts, you know? That's all it's doing. That's the only conversion going on is money from vegans. Oh, but can you support my activism? Pay for my holidays. And that's the only, that's the only conversion going on. It's a financial conversion. These people on the street, they end up on YouTube. Their friends go, oh, the vegans put you on YouTube. And these people are pissed. They're like, they began up like Waka Flocka, like, fuck the vegans, I ain't doing this shit no more, this is like, like, religious street preaching, aggressive street preaching, sorry, aggressive street preachers, antagonizing people, going to protest, surrounding them, look at this photo, they just, there's one guy, and there's maybe like 20 vegans, there's one vegan in this picture, the guy who's like, putting his chin out like, yeah, 
yeah, yeah. And that's, that's, that body language is just so aggressive. It's so condescending. The people in the background of the cameras, they're just like, yeah, I'm vegan. I just want to support this. But the guy who's got his chin out like, yeah, yeah, mate, you eat meat, you're dumb. It's just so condescending. And the guy actually, with his chin out, uh, anyway, I won't get, <laughs> I'm not going to digress, but it, this, this guy who's getting harassed, this dude's harassed. If, imagine if it was 20 meat eaters harassing one vegan and put that on Facebook. All the vegans would be like, oh, these fucking meat eaters, fuck them. And that's what's happening right now. All these meat, the meat eater crew, it's like, it's like a fucking football team. Look at the title of the video, meat eater versus vegan. That doesn't cause solidarity. Humans, man, one planet, all right? Creating division like that, vegans versus meat eaters, is great for YouTube hits, it's great for Patreon donations, but it's fucked for community. It's fucked for bringing people together. It's like, you know, color versus color, or you know, religion versus religion. When you put that versus in the middle, I mean, I do that, Chris Froome versus Lance Armstrong, competition, but that stuff, when you put minority groups against minority groups or whatever, or minority versus majority, that does not cause community. That causes fucking conflict. And it can cause financial con uh, conversions. That's about it. So anyway, so we have Waka Flocka talking about this and just hating life and not wanting to be associated with that. Because right now, the trend on YouTube, social media is like on Facebook, Instagram. It's like, yeah, let's go and protest. Let's go and like touch the pigs in the in the tra in the in the um, in the truck and stuff like that. I did that stuff back in two thousand three, and I stopped doing it real quick when. One of the guys got arrested. He put ham in a feedlot, uh, live export, going to Saudi Arabia, where it was. There's a massive fucking tanker full of uh, goats and sheep and stuff. And he put some, he put uh, like a packet of ham through over the fence into the feedlot. And so the, the live export sheep and goats, etc., were eating this stuff. So it's no longer halal. So the whole ship got tanked. He got arrested and charged. And, but it caused a lot of hate towards vegans. All us vegans were like, yeah, fucking, yeah. But in hindsight, it was it was it was a mistake. You know, the intention was sort of right. It was fr based out of frustration, like you know, I want to change the industry, but it didn't inspire anyone to do shit. And it's just all it did is inspired hate towards vegans, just like Waka. This Waka dude, I don't know who he is, but apparently he's got some a decent following in the rap scene. And now this dude's saying vegans are for like the fucking cops. And if I don't know if you know about much about rap, I don't know much about rap, <laughs> but I know that rappers don't like the cops. And the audience of rappers don't like the cops. So when you have a rapper saying vegans are the same as cops, I've got no problems with the cops. I've got no problems with vegans. I am a vegan. But, you know what I mean? So it's, it's painting vegans up there in, in a minority group in a negative light. So you want to be, if you want to be vegan, all right, if you really give a fuck about getting the vegan message out there and not just boosting your Patreon account, <clears throat> excuse me, be inspiring. Don't be irritating. You know, don't be turning people off veganism. Make veganism fun to be around. When you go to the, the restaurants or the kitchen, I went to Domino's the other day, right? Domino's Australia do awesome vegan pizzas. I went there, they've sold out of vegan cheese. And I made an order and they tried to call me, the phone number I gave them was wrong, it was an old number. But what they did, you know, just being good customer service, they put regular dairy cheese on my pizza. And like, we, we tried to call you, but we put some mozzarella cheese, is that okay? And I said, oh, no, nah, it's not, I don't really do the dairy, you know, no big deal, but you know, they can't always give you a refund. And they were cool about it. And I was cool about it. I didn't go, oh my God, I ordered fucking vegan cheese. You put, what? You put non-vegan cheese? Oh, fuck, fuck. I wasn't going on Instagram. But look at Domino's. They fucked up my order. No, 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 no. That's, no. That doesn't inspire anyone. You know? That's what I would do if I wanted Patreon donations. Support my activism. I'm going to protest outside of Domino's now. Support the vigil. Support the prophecy. Give, give me Patreon money. I'm going to fucking make a big deal at Domino's. Australia. No, 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 no. That makes money, more money for the Patreon beggars. But it destroys the vegan image in the mainstream eyes. Domino's pizzas in Australia now doing vegan pizzas, man. You know what I mean? They've sold out of vegan cheese. Australia fucking wide. How fucking awesome is that? I mean, it's frustrating because I want to eat a fucking vegan cheese pizza. But it's great, though. That it's a sign of change. And it's inspiration, man. I remember putting these Domino's pizzas on social media back in 2013, 2014. And people lost their lid. Oh my God, you support Domino's, that's so bad. You should go to your local vegan pizza chain and pay 50 bucks for a pizza and I mean, it's open for two days a night, you know? And people ridiculed me for it, vegans. And But now look at that. You know, five years later, Domino's has got a permanent vegan lineup. And that's directly because of my YouTube videos. And then Freely did some and then some of the other girls did some and then other people ordering these fucking veg trios with no cheese and eventually Domino's is like, why don't I just do a fucking vegan pizza, you know? And so it grows like that. It's inspiration, man. It ain't irritation. 
standing out front of a fucking factory saying, don't kill animals. This isn't going to fucking stop nothing. It's not going to stop anything. It's just a financial means for these Patreon e-beggars to get more money for their drug habit or whatever the fuck they do, 10 grand a month. <laughs> anyway, I'm digressing. Waka Flocka, Waka Flocka, Waka Flocka, has stopped being vegan because he felt the vegans were getting too hardcore. Some people say, oh, he's just being, he's just looking for excuse. No, no, but yeah, no, yes, no, whatever. The, the, reality, the, the shit out there, the lessons we need to learn from this is us vegans, man. I've been vegan 16 years and I've converted a lot of fucking mainstream people and not a single one of them was through irritation. It was inspiration. So I was going, I want to get lean, I want to lose weight, I want to get faster. It wasn't me turning up to a bike race, looking at someone and saying, how are you drinking milk, man? That's slaughter, that's fucking cruelty and shit. You know? That doesn't do fucking shit. Imagine if I turn up to bike races or bike events or bike shows or tooting under, harassing people with a bunch of 20 other vegans with cameras saying, you're eating a meat pie, like that's, do you understand? Do you understand that that's like really cruel and it's like, and it's give me money from a Patreon. You know what I mean? Oh, some vegans go, oh, yeah, good work, doing not you a real, act real, real activist? No, no, that's repelling mainstream people from veganism. What if I turn up to an under, or a bike show, or whatever, where I'm a fucking got fat? This fucking converts people. Everyone reads it like, got fat, what? People ride bikes, go on lose weight. They see a skinny, lean dude eating a fucking vegan pizza saying, got fat, cub the fuck. People laugh at this shit. All, every day, people laugh at this shit, you know? Once, uh, Stuart Essen's jet star was triggered, but people laugh at this shit. And they're inspired. When you're making something fun for someone, you take care of your motivation. So inspire people with veganism. Message to the Waka Flocka guys. I don't know sure if this dude was under carb, he was under eating, maybe he got hungry, he's like, oh, fuck, I'm just, I need some food. Maybe he was watching some videos of people saying, just eat whole foods, just eat potatoes and kale, don't eat bananas, don't follow John Ryder's advice, refined sugar's bad. You know what I mean? That's restrictive shit. It doesn't make anyone stay vegan. You know what I mean? What it does is it creates a micro-economy for some of these vegan vloggers out there Go to my retreat, buy my book, this is potatoes and kale, this is all I'm doing, and yes, whole foods, bye bye. It creates a micro economy, and it pushes away that mainstream economy. I'm going for fucking the mainstream economy, and I've fucking walk my fucking talk, Domino's Australia. Domino's Australia put out vegan pizzas because of Duran Riders videos. Love it or hate it, that's reality. And that's other Burger King, McDonald's, KFC, they're paying attention right now. They're all watching each other, they're like, fucking hell, man. Domino's are sold out of vegan cheese in their pizzas. What can we do that's vegan? Hungry Jack's now do vegan fries. McDonald's Australia do vegan fries. I'm not going to support McDonald's. Hey, I used to be like that back in 2002. But wouldn't it be cool if fucking do if McDonald's was doing vegan burgers? Vegan veganism for the mainstream? I don't know about you, man. But I want a vegan planet. I don't want to boost my Patreon income to fucking have a little holidays or whatever. I want to make vegan mainstream, man. You know. I was in these YouTube videos when I used to live on the fucking welfare, on the pension, homeless in the street, making videos. I wasn't uh, uh, e-begging people for money. To support the vegan activism, I go around the street irritating people. And that just it infuriates people, man. And it dis disinspires people like Waka Flocka, who got some weight loss results, went vegan because of weight loss, went vegan because of inspiration, got off veganism because of irritation. Because maybe some people say, oh, you're one of those activist people who go to these slaughterhouses and harass people in the public about what they're eating. Think about it, man. Just think about it. It is it is not the trend we want to go down. That's not the path, man. That is not the path. We're, we're, vegans just don't want to, like... That, this is the vegans of the fucking 80s, man. Irritating fucks, man. Of the 90s. Maybe the 2000s. Right now, we've got the vegan athletes. The inspiration. The girls that look hot. The guys that look fit and whatever. You know? That's what's inspiring. Don't be an aggressive street preacher. Street preacher. Street preacher. Just e-begging for Patreon money. Harassing people on the street. And people, if you watch that content, don't think it's doing anything for inspiration. You know, ask yourself how many people are going vegan because of this. How many people are going vegan because I got irritated to do it? Everyone gives it. Everyone knows about ethics. No one really gives a fuck about it. People want to lose weight. They want to feel better. And if you disagree with me, you're still fucking wrong. Remember that. People want to lose weight. They want to look good. They want to feel better. Three things. Well, the first two, the first two are together. Look, lose weight, feel, uh, look better. People want to lose weight. They want to feel better, look better. So if you can focus on that, share your weight loss story, share whatever story you got, versus be an irritating little fuck on the street, it's going to spy more people. Think about it. <clears throat> and so, just lastly, the recap. Waka Flocka, bro, carb the fuck up. Eat 10 grams of carbs per kilo per day. Don't worry about the irritating vegans online. 
just have fun, just just get it done, man, you got a big reach there, uh, apparently, so just, just keep spreading fucking good vibes, positive action, man, make, make a difference, talk to Russell Simmons more, talk to Russell Simmons more, don't get too restrictive with your vegan diet, just carbs, 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 smash it in, bro, eat enough, you're a big guy, carb the fuck up, carb the fuck up, get it done, and for people out there who are new vegans or whatever, don't harass your friends and family at dinner time or Christmas or breakfast or lunch or at work or in the office or wherever. Be a fucking vegan inspiration. When you make, when you go to a restaurant and order a vegan meal and they put chicken in there, don't lose your shit. Don't lose your shit. Say, oh, sorry, I didn't order chicken, I ordered the tofu. You know, don't lose your shit. Non-vegans don't understand, they don't get it. So when you lose your shit at someone and they don't understand, they're going, okay, vegan equals crazy motherfucker. I'll remember that. Vegan equals irritating bitch. I'll, I'll, I'll remember that. Vegan means fucking hypochondriac, eating assorted, orthorexic motherfucking drain bow. I'll remember that. Versus vegan is, wow, that chick's really hot. Vegan, that guy's really positive. Vegan, that guy's really confident. Wow, vegan, that guy's really fast. Vegan, that chick's really funny. That's the anchors you want to have with people. Not this, go to the dinner table, look at the food. Um, all right? Have fun, man. People are watching you, man. People are always watching you. If you can't handle that, get out of the fucking spotlight. But be put your best foot forward. Do your best. Be authentic. Have fun. Inspire every motherfucking cunt around you to go vegan because they're inspired by it. Not irritated or guilt tripped. All right. No packing bags. We're going on a guilt trip. Vegan fucking propaganda, please. Inspiration, vegan nation. That's the situation. Hey, bro. Oh, oh, he's got my hand. He's got my hand. <laughs> That's cool. I was really having a little sniff in him. Oh, kissy, kissy. Uh-oh. Oh, oh not, not nice. Oh, the koala love. Oh, oh kissy, kisses. <laughs> Alright, so this is like me laying. Oh, soft face. Oh, oh.